to start with 2021 has started today so a very very happy new year to all of you around there let's promise ourselves to be very consistent with our preparation and let's start with our uh, topic for today 2014 paper test booklet series a We start with the 71st question for today because up to that 70 questions are already completed and we hopefully complete all of it today. So the power of the Supreme Court of India to decide disputes between the center and the states falls under its advisory appellate original or red jurisdiction and this is a very clear cut answer because if you know if you've read polity this is easy for you it falls under c original jurisdiction because according to the indian polity lakshmi kant book the original jurisdiction uh, supreme court has three parts center and states center states on one side and other states and between two or more states other parts are writ jurisdiction you have your habeas corpus and everything appellate jurisdiction where appeals are from lower courts advisory jurisdiction where supreme court advises the president court of record where all the records are kept about the judgments part of judicial review we all know about it and other parts are also there so make sure to just go and revise it right now so that that portion again gets revised and brushed up we now move to our next question consider the following techniques of phenomena budding and grafting in fruit plants cytoplasmic male sterility and gene silencing which of the above are used to create transgenic crops first let us know about what are these these are plants into which one or more genes from other species have been introduced and accordingly these are also called genetically modified crops and used in agriculture and everything it's given there so if you technically look at it budding and grafting is a very natural process so one is not correct but two and three are very much there they are used to create transgenic crops so the correct answer is b two and three only we now have the 73rd question consider the following statements so these are all about the uses of maize so no uh, read to uh, through the uses of crops and everything can be used for the production of starch oil extracted can be used as a feedstock and alcoholic beverages can be produced by using maize so technically if you go through them you will come to your concluded answer and that is d 1 2 and 3 and for that you will have to go through your revision part as how they are used the raw materials and everything and accordingly proceed then have among the following organisms which one does not belong to the class of other three so we'll have to know where all they belong which classes they belong to so do revise all these crabs belong to arthropods but we when we look at mites it belongs to arachnids and the class is the same for scorpions also and spiders are a part of them there so the correct answer is a crab it does not belong to the class of other three then we have the part to increase the number of judges in the supreme court of india is vested in either the president parliament chief justice of india or law commission so this is also an easy question and with this make sure that whenever you are reading polity and any other body you go through them but when we look at the chapter it's appointed by the president we have considered the following towns of india we have four towns bhadracholam chanderi kanchipuram and karnal and we have to select which one are famous for the production of traditional sarees of fabric so go make sure whenever there is a news uh, about towns famous for you have your answer ready because you need to revise them you need to uh, note all of these down here the correct answer is chanderi is known for it and kanchipuram is known and most of the time you listen to uh, people saying about these two so b2 and 3 only is the correct answer then we have considered the following pairs we have national highways here so geography please make sure that whenever you're reading that the uh, infrastructure and everything you know we have national highway 4 6 and 15 and we have to know whether they are correct or not so nh4 is wrong because chennai is there but hyderabad is not there NH six is wrong because Kolkata is there, but Mumbai is not there. And NH fifteen is wrong because neither of them is there. So the correct answer is D. None of them. 
Then we have the 78th question. Consider the following international agreements. We have three agreements, International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources, United Nations Conventions and World Heritage Convention. And from this, we have to know which one has the bearing on the biodiversity and it is D, 1, 2 and 3. All are correct. They are there. Then we have the consider the following statements regarding Earth R. This was in news this year also because Earth R is celebrated every year. If you know the correct answer about when is it celebrated, do comment it down. So the first option is incorrect because it's not UNEP or UNESCO, it's WWF. The second option is correct. Yes, it's about switching off the lights for one hour at a certain day and make sure that you uh, comment down the certain day as in the date. And three is also correct. So the correct answer is two and three C. So two and three only is the correct answer. Which one of the following is the correct sequence of a food chain? So now it's not about just knowing what is food chain or food web. It's about knowing the current examples also. So the correct answer here is A. Because diatoms are autotrophs, crustaceans are herbivores feeding on diatoms and herrings feed on crustaceans. And accordingly you get your answer. Next is the partition of Bengal made by Lord Curzon in 1905 lasted until. If you've read history, this is a very straightforward answer. Nothing homophile. And the correct answer is B. Because when uh, King abrogated the Curzons Act at the Loyal Darbar in Delhi, this happened. Then we have the 1929 session of Indian National Congress is of significance. Why? So this was the Lahore session that happened. And in this, the attainment of Purna Swaraj was adopted as the goal of the Congress. So now you know if there's any Congress meeting that has been there or you know that, you know, the Vardha session or all of these sessions which are important. So just make sure that you have them in your fingertips so that if the question is asked in this way, you clearly write your answer, suffice your answer beautifully. This happened to be January 26th and that is why you know why this was there. We have with reference to the famous Satriya dance, consider the following statements. We have three options and we have to see which of the statements given above are correct. So this is again art, culture and everything. So make sure that you do not miss out on the dance, drama and everything. So Satriya is a combination of music, dance, drama, centuries old living tradition of Vaishnavites of Assam and based on classical rags and talas of devotional songs composed by Tulsi Das, Kabir and Mirabai. So the first and second option is correct, but third option is wrong because it's again the Vaishnavism that comes in and not Kabir or Mirabai. So we have the correct answer as B1 and 2 only because yes, third is incorrect. Then we have Chetra 1 of the national calendar based on the Saka era corresponds to which one of the following dates of the Gregorian calendar in a normal year of 365 days. And we have the correct answer as A, 22nd March or 21st March in some of the years. And accordingly, just make sure that if you have these things, uh, whenever you come across these questions, just know about what a Saka era, Chetra 1 and everything like that, the Gregorian calendar and everything. You can Google it for that or refer to book. Also, it was adopted in 1957. Then we have with reference to the Indian history of art and culture again, we have the famous work of sculptures and we have the sites and we have to see whether they are correctly matched. So the Ajanta is correctly matched because yes, it's a grand image of Buddha's Mahaparnivarana. Uh, Mount Abu we'll see eventually and uh, Mammalapuram is also correct because yes, it's the Arjun's penance or descent of Ganga. So 1 and 3 is correct. Now we have to see whether C or D is the correct answer because Mount Abu is not about that. Mount Abu is the differences with the sage Vishwamitra. And is a diminutive of the ancient name. So Abu is from there and said wishes to retire to the southern spur at Mount Abu. So Mount Abu, the correct option is this and not the option given there. So again, correct option is C. Then we have the Ghadar was a revolutionary association of Indians with headquarters at San Francisco. This is the correct answer. This is again from uh, Indian modern uh, history. And uh, from there, uh, Ghadar was a revolutionary movement that had been started. And so correct answer is A. All the three can be excluded. Then we have the 87th question with reference to India's culture and tradition. What is Kalari Payattu? So just like you had all the dance and dramas, you also have to have what are the things that are recognized in our Indian culture and our economy. So we have four options. You need to uh, select the correct answer. 
first is bhakti cult of shaivism so uh, i i don't think this is correct because kalari payattu was not of this era so you can also miss and match eliminate this way but here we'll know it directly what is kalari payattu it's d the correct answer because it is believed to be the oldest surviving martial art in india next we have that we need to consider the following pairs we have the the dance thing there and we need to see whether they are uh, the correct state that they belong to so garba gujarat very 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 uh, relevant yakshagana karnataka is also the correct answer but for odisha it is not mohini yattam because uh, mohini yattam is from kerala so mohini yattam has its origin to the temples of kerala and accordingly the correct answer is c1 and 3 only then we come to with reference to buddhist history tradition and culture in india consider the following pairs so again buddhism and jainism in indian history syllabus becomes important so we have the tabu monastery and temple complex in spiti valley zanskar valley ladakh it's also given so first we'll see well, where all these valleys are ladakh we are clear about it and accordingly we'll see whether they are correct or not because uh, the, yes the location also is relevant with history so history and geography goes together social studies so spiti valley is in this region where it's tabu monastery so that's correct Zanskar is in Jammu and Kashmir region but if you look at the Lotsawa temple which they are saying is in Nako so Nako again is in Himachal Pradesh which is not there very nearby to the Jammu and Kashmir thing so the second option is incorrect and the third option again Ladakh the AG temple complex is correct so 89 the correct answer is 1 and 3 only which is C Then we have considered the following statements. Bijak is a composition of the teachings of Saint Dadu Dayal, and second is the philosophy of Pushti Marg was propounded by Madhavacharya. And accordingly, we have to select the correct option. So, first we'll have to know which Bijak from where it's coming up, and the philosophy of Pushti Marg. What's what's that about? So, Bijak is the compilation of the verses of Kabir and not Saint Dadu Dayal. So, the first option is incorrect, and accordingly, the second option is also incorrect because it was by Vallabhacharya, and the correct answer again is D, neither one nor two. So, we have the last ten questions left. A community of people called Manganiyas is well known for their either martial arts or musical traditions, classical vocal music, or piyatra. Their tradition. The correct answer is B because yes, their make livings as musical performers then we have what were the object or uh, objects of queen victoria's proclamation 1858 uh disclaim any intention to annex india states definitely place the indian administration under british crown yes regulate east india company's trade with india no because that was to be done by the court of directors and the board of control that all we have the acts the regulating the pension india act that started so the third option is incorrect so the correct answer is a 1 and 2 only This question we've already covered in our Mughal India video. So this Badat Khan at Fatehpur Sikri was the hall in which Akbar held discussions with scholars of various religions. So accordingly, architecture becomes important. Then we have in the context of food and nutritional security of India, enhancing the seed replacement rates of various crops helps in achieving the food production targets of the future. But what are the constraints or whatever are the or uh, disadvantages and everything like that challenges so there is no national seeds policy in place no participation of private sector seed companies in the supply of quality seeds and demand supply gap regarding quality seeds in case so yes the constraints are yes the demand supply gap is there and accordingly only that is correct so 3 only b is the correct answer with reference to the eco sensitive zones which of the following statements are correct eco sensitive zones areas declared under wildlife protection act and the uh, purpose of these is to prohibit all kinds of human activities in those zones except agriculture both are incorrect because it's not under wildlife protection but environment protection act and also their purpose is to act as a transition zone and from areas of high protection to areas involving lesser protection so the correct answer is d neither one nor two then we have considered the following statements animal welfare board of india established under the environment protection act 1986 national tiger conservation authority a statutory body and national ganga river basin authority shared by the prime minister see third is correct 
second is also correct because yes it is a statutory body and that is why uh, our authority our bodies and what are they where do they belong and everything becomes important because that could be just one option but accordingly that could be stupidly uh, engaged but the first option is incorrect because it's under the prevention of cruelty to animals act 1960 so now the correct answer is b2 and 3 only then we move on to the consider the following uh, pairs we have the vitamins and accordingly we have the deficiency diseases so again the uh, ncrt signs becomes important here vitamin c scurvy is the correct answer vitamin d rickets is also correct but vitamin e and night blindness do not match so the correct answer is 1 and 2 a so a1 and 2 only is the correct answer and we'll see why vitamin e does not match with night blindness what is vitamin e responsible for and what's night blindness uh, due to so vitamin e deficiency can cause nerve and muscle damage so this is about the loss of feeling the arms legs loss of body movement and everything but night blindness is due to lack of vitamin a then we have the next question there is some concern regarding the nanoparticles of some chemical elements used by the industry in the manufacture of various products so why is the question so accordingly a very general question it is uh, if you do not get confused you can uh, you know select the answer d1 2 and 3 which is also correct but if you get confused of how could some question or how could a question be this easy then you might just get confused but the correct answer is d1 2 and 3 Then we have the last second question for today. Which of the following organizations brings about the publication known as World Economic Outlook? A very simple question, a very straightforward. You know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. So the correct answer here is A, the International Monetary Fund. Then we have our last question for today with reference to union budget. Which of the following are covered under non-plan expenditure? Strange that this time budget had such a simple question. But the correct answer is one, two, three, four. All are correct. So C is the correct answer for hundred. Defence, interest payments, salaries, and pension subsidies all falls under the non-plan expenditure. All right, guys. This was it with today's video. We finally, finally completed the 2014 paper, and with this, uh, next fr uh, Friday when we start or uh, the year thing, we'll start with 2015 paper, and hopefully, we'll complete the uh, 10 questions, 20 questions, and accordingly proceed uh, in a faster pace than we did in the last month that we had a month to just complete a paper. So. Yeah, when you start, it's that slow. That is why you should start early, and that's the sole point of completing all of these in this quick time or a very lagging time, if a lot of people might call it. But accordingly, we meet next on Friday with 2015 paper. Until then, uh, revise, revise, and revise. Thanks for watching.